Hello and welcome to another update video about Doge. Doge is still moving up in what looks like a three wave move up from that in internal fourth wave low here from uh, early October. By the way, yesterday in the video I shared with you the bigger picture, the overall larger time frame on the Doge chart. So if you're interested in that, you can find that video on the channel. Um, but overall, it is only so far from this August low, a three wave move up. So we have a wave one, which topped around yeah the 11th of August, a wave two, which was a flat correction, A wave down, we had a slightly overshooting B wave, and then the C wave down. I haven't labeled that specifically, there is no need to. But then the third wave was very clearly also a three wave move. We had a wave four and yeah, we could now be in this fifth wave up. I have two problems with this. Um, the third wave is too weak to be clearly a viable third wave. So I cannot rule out that the third actually sits here, which is what I'm tracking for um, Bitcoin actually. Yeah, and then it's doing this. But still, I can tell you that with one more high, we have at least a visu visually a five wave move, right? So I'm already considering that the five wave move could be complete with one more high. Um, but And then the second problem is this wave four went very deep. It just doesn't look right in terms of proportions. So that just means we have to be on alert. Things could change in the micro level, but to keep it very simple, as long as we're holding above that October low, which formed at around 10 cents, just above 10 cents actually, I'm going to watch for one more high in wave five. Now that wave five should unfold as an ABC structure as the third wave also unfolded as an ABC structure. So should the five, the fifth wave also unfold as an ABC yeah? with an A wave rally that topped around the 6th or 7th of October, the B wave pullback around the 10th of October and the C wave up then um, could be unfolding now. It looks like a three wave move up so far, so it's fine, but it's just not long enough really. I'd like to see that um, fifth wave get to 13.8 or 14.9 cents, um, it could even go higher. The only thing is, um, you know, the microstructure is not very clear, um, but yeah, we're dealing with a very small degree here. Now, what I could imagine is that what happens is maybe that wave four is resetting a little bit further to the right, that's possible, or all of this was the A wave, which I would have to assume if it can't form one more high, while holding, however, the 3rd of October low, then maybe a B wave and a C wave. So it's definitely something to watch out for. Yeah, that, you know, it, it might form this. Um, but therefore, I did say in one of the updates I provided earlier today on our Discord server that, you know, as long as we are holding above that 10 cent level, I'm going to watch for higher, whether it means it's taking the direct path or comes down in a, in a bit of a reset of wave B and then goes up in C. As long as we're holding it, I'd like to see that fifth wave. And then if five waves form, I can add the next support area for circle two, which means if we get five waves up, this wave two pullback could provide an opportunity for a rally in the third wave that should then follow afterwards. So that's the update about Doge. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership also Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.